I forgot about the HDR calibration app that it was coming. Uh, so go to Microsoft Store, type in HDR calibration and download Windows HDR calibration app. Shout out to uh, FT on the comments. He said, hey, did you check out the HDR calibration? I forgot. Two weeks ago, I made a video talking about Windows Auto HDR and I posted the first comment on that video. I'm going to have a link in the description of this video. You see on the first comment I said in September 20 I did my research and this HDR calibration app is coming to Windows to give you a much better auto HDR. So I'm trying it for the first time. I just installed the app. I haven't tried any game yet. <laughs> so let's let's just take a look at first impressions. <laughs> let's do first impressions. You just open the app let me take a seat here. It's gonna be a little bit challenging to calibrate the HDR with the lights on. You need to be in a dark room. We just open uh, the app. I have you. You need to have. Let me show you the settings on the on the TV. You need to be on HGIG. So turn on HDR from Windows. Go to Advanced Settings Brightness. You need to be on HDR Tone Mapping HGIG because remember. What HGIG means is tone mapping on the TV off. So the source, the game or Windows or the system level calibration is going to do, is going to have the HDR signal in range. So that's what we're going to do with this app. We are going to put the signal, the HDR signal in perfect range. So the TV doesn't have to do tone mapping. That's why. HGIG is the way to go. So on that ST2084 EOTF, what HGIG is going to do is going to follow the EOTF and hard clip at the peak brightness of the display. That's why that's the most accurate HDR settings. So that's awesome that now we can have system level calibration on Windows 11. And my, what I'm expecting is amazing auto HDR. It was very good already. Now it's going to be just perfect. This is so amazing, man. I'm excited. I know this is going to work flawlessly. So we have HDR tone mapping HGIG. We come here to colors. Uh, auto detect. Color depth 55, 150. Okay? So, and make sure you don't have any... If you're using game optimizer mode, make sure you're not on any different mode here that is not standard. So make sure you are on standard mode. So go to game optimizer uh, and make sure you don't have this black stabilizer on any different value that is not 10 and 10. Make sure that you don't have this uh, fine tuned dark areas with any values here because we're going to calibrate the black level and everything here. Okay, let's see how to use uh, the starting goal. So basically what they're explaining you here is that you need to hard clip uh, the big brightness. So you're going to start with this pattern and you're going to increase the slider until you no longer see any any object on the screen. Because that what that means is that you are hard clipping at the big brightness of the display. So that's what you're looking for. Let's start. So you click here, get started, and we're going to start with a minimum luminance, which I don't even need to look at the pattern, it's just the minimum. And if the minimum is not zero, which is not, it's 0 0.005, what that means is that we still see the pattern. <laughs> because this is an OLED screen, so it's perfect black. So this 0 0.005 nits, or candelas, is still visible on this OLED TV, which is phenomenal. It's just amazing. So we click next. So that's what they are explaining you here. Click next. And now this is the maximum luminance. So what we want is, oh, maybe on the video, you, you just see white, completely white. Let me see on the video. Yeah, you can, you can, see, you can see the pattern, but of course the clipping point 
on the video is going to be different because the peak brightness, uh, the video cannot capture that. So I know the maximum is 800 nits, but here I can actually make sure <laughs> this, is this is difficult to watch. Let me let me go back a little bit because it's painful to watch. <laughs> so here I know it's 800 nits, but maybe I can 770, 770. Maybe I can go between. 770, 80, let me see if I can still see, I can no longer see it at 780, so that means the big brightness of my display might be 780, let me see if I can see it, I need to be on a dark room, I think I can no longer see it, let's, let's try 780, I'm gonna post on the comments if I see uh, it's 800 or a different value, but of course it's going to vary uh, It might vary uh, per TV in depending on your TV now max full Frame luminance test. So what uh, this is very important. Oh man. This is so awesome because This is having a full white screen so because the TV has its limitations by having a full white screen the TV is not going to be able to push the same brightness in the full screen. So this is going to adjust the HDR so awesome. Man. This is amazing. So what we want, again, is we want to clip that point. We want to clip this, uh, this object here. So here, 590, 640, 700, 750, 700... And 80 so I, f I see that it's the same value 780 the same value let me increase it like this I still see the pattern 750 760 still see it 770 uh, I still see it 780 mm, maybe I see it so uh, yeah, maybe I think I see let me see. Uh, 770, no. 780, I think I still see it. 790. So I'm gonna do 790, and also I'm gonna do 790 for the for the maximum brightness. So I'm gonna go back, and I'm gonna do 790 for both. 790. It might be 800, but I, it's just what I see here. 790, 790. Okay. Good. Let's go to the next. So now, color saturation. Oh my god. This is so good. <laughs> so good. SDR, HDR content. Let's see. So less by def default is zero. So we can increase the color saturation. It says, adjust the slider below to determine how color appears on your display for both HDR and SDR content. More natural or more saturated and vivid. This determines how all content appears and depends on your personal preference. The change might be subtle in, and depends on your display characteristics. So, no, I think I'm going to leave this on the default zero because this is just going to increase the saturation and actually in front of me here the changes I don't see any changes in front of me here they're saying that the changes might, might appear as subtle depending on the display let me see changes are almost yeah, yeah I see a change so if I go to the extremes yeah, I can definitely see a changes here on the clouds. Yeah, I can definitely see the changes. This might be something to test further or maybe do some research. I'm going to leave it at zero because when the HDR range is perfect, I don't see any problems. Like Spider-Man was already looking spectacular with auto HDR. So zero is the default. I don't want to increase the saturation for no reason. But this is something I'm going to... I'm going to further evaluate. So 
now review and save new color settings before calibration after calibration so it's showing you a before and after let me see if I can see any difference oh absolutely I can see difference so oh, here on the clouds let me see it's subtle but here on the clouds I can see better visibility after calibration I see perfect the clouds here are perfectly visible like zero clipping and here is clipping like all this area is clipping it's too bright but after calibration I see every like it's perfect perfect <laughs> this is awesome man so excited so excited color profile associated the color profile has been successfully associated with this display perfect so it looks like this calibration app is is changing the default profile that windows assigns to the display so right now i didn't have the cr so before using this app i didn't have any changes on windows so the display uh, was in the default 1499 so 1500 nits that this uh, Windows 11 assigns randomly to the display so I didn't have the CRU changing the display capabilities to 800 so if I go now to display settings I should see uh, 800 nits I'm going to confirm that on the comments I don't want to open display settings because it's going to reveal my email address and then I have to edit the video and it takes me time to upload the video and I want to upload this right now so you s you get this information as soon as possible so you start playing with auto HDR so I'm gonna try it uh, and then I'm gonna do a separate video just showing you the screen because now you, you're, not, you're not gonna be able to see the screen very well uh, so yeah I would like to yeah I'm gonna do a separate video showing you the screen you know so you can see better and and yeah that's what I'm gonna do